Okay, so I'm recording now. So uh, what if you what if you've got properties and there's suddenly a potential financial hit or there is a financial hit, hit how would I deal with that? And uh, I love that question. It's also relevant because I deal in the property sector as well, uh, managing properties for my father, uh, looking after them. And um, the, I mean, I always deal with things on this, on. So if I go into fear and worry about a financial problem, like I've got a property, a tenant goes in, or there's a flood, or there's damp damage, or there's suddenly a huge expense that has come or may be coming, I, I realize that while there's a problem in my mind and I'm in fear, that's quite a low level of consciousness. And that level of consciousness uh, remaining in fear and uh, negative thoughts and limiting beliefs around it, that vibration is just going to create more and more problems and is not going to allow the miraculous and divine aid to come. So the first thing I would do, uh, if I've got time, of course, sometimes you have to take action uh, to fix financial problems. And if you have to, you have to. But otherwise, I'm trying to take as much time to clear my negative feelings and cancel my thoughts and hand over my negative thinking into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence around it. Now, the idea is that if I'm, um, if I'm, uh, if I can clear it, I want to get to a place where I'm at peace and I'm no longer concerned about it. So if I'm sitting and feeling the feelings out and letting go of the thoughts or, and also as I'm praying, uh, to play, you know, to cancel my uh, beliefs or to place my fears into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence. I keep feeling the feelings out and I keep placing it into God's infinite light and love. And then I can start to feel that the fear starts to uh, evaporate like a cloud. And as I keep handing the thoughts over, either with the field of feelings or placing them into God's infinite light and love, then it's, it feels like I can feel the level of consciousness for myself increase. And I can often get, and as I, I have always known from experience, when I get to this place of infinite peace, it's like, it, it seems as I go up the levels of consciousness, um, the problem is recontextualized through the Holy Spirit. And often as I'm feeling the feelings of praying, like uh, inspirations or people will call me up, or things um, miraculously get resolved, or it's like suddenly I'm orchestrated to take an action which solves the problem. If it's a major fear, then it might take a lot of processing. I always leave taking action. I delay taking actions around things as long, usually as long as practical, practically possible so that I can be taking out as much of the fear and, and just clearing the thoughts. I really want to get to this vibration. I'm trying to clear it out and get to a vibration where I feel I'm in a position of neutrality and it doesn't matter anymore, it doesn't mean anything. Because I know when I'm in these infinite states, it's um, where it's like the problem is, is meaningless and the fear is completely gone. I know that that vibration always handles the problem, uh, but I know that if I'm still in fear and I'm still having negative thinking around the problem, um, to that extent, I'll be blocked off from higher levels of miracles and synchronicities and orchestration from outside and from inside um, coming through to resolve it miraculously. So the idea is uh, I have to increase, um, I might be taking action to resolve the problem. And if I do have to take action, I will, but I'll always be feeling the feelings and placing the problem um, whatever the problem is, you know, there might be a major fear, there might be subtle fears. I'll try and have a list of all the different types of things like I'll run out of money. Um, uh, I, I don't, you know, I, I won't know how to, to speak to the, the people involved. So if I have any fears around those, each one I'll have in a list and I'll be handing it over in the Course in Miracles prayers over and over again until I start to feel it's dissolving. I'm no longer important in my mind and I'm feeling the feelings out until that fear. And I can feel that I, I've always known from experience that when I do the work and it seems like it doesn't matter or I'm in neutrality or I feel in a place of invincibility because the ego is no longer involved, that level of uh, um, 
consciousness, that God consciousness, means it will be solved uh, in whatever way. And whatever happens, I'll be at peace. So that's the way I usually handle things. If you um, get some sudden, uh, you know, like sudden extreme financial news, which is very bad, usually I, I try and be uh, sitting with those feelings or praying to try and get my level of consciousness up as quickly as possible before I start taking action. And that will usually come in intuitively or miraculously in some form. Okay, we just 